Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome to another Railway Empire video. This is Attican, and we're still taking a look at the new changes in version 1.3, and we're looking at the things they've done with free mode. And I told you I was going to go out and play one in Trainiac mode and show you, and I I'm partially right. I played one in Trainiac mode, got a president rating, did great. Uh, it was hard. It was very hard. Uh, however, I had some video difficulties, and I can't show it to you. Uh, so I'll have to do it again, I, and I will do one again. But right now, what we want to do, actually, is play... Um, I'll take a different different one, 1850 to 1870. I'm going to play one in pro uh, game mode. And the reason we're doing that is uh, Jerome Weston's actually going to play one in normal. And we, we've been communicating, and the difficulty ratings aren't making sense. So we're trying to get a handle on that. So he's going to play one on normal. I've already got the one I played on um, Trainiac, which came out as a 0.8 difficulty modifier, which I thought was really strange. So I'm going to do the same setup with the least amount of money in Kansas City. Three very hard competitors, and we'll do the pro mode. And pro makes your task more difficult. And of course, Trainiac makes the task more difficult, and the new stations get more expensive. And I will share this with you. Uh, they really do get more expensive. They go up um, several thousand dollars every time you build one. And at the end of the game, you know, naturally, in this particular game, I had to have like 800,000 passengers and um, company value of like 265 million. So I had to build all over the map. And by the time I built my last station down here in Fayetteville, the small station cost $172,000. So <laughs> they really do go up. But to be honest with you, that's not that big of a deal if you're playing well because you start, you know, you get to that point if you've built your economy properly where you, the, you're you making money faster than you can spend it. So it seems wasteful. And it is wasteful to spend that much money on a, a station, but at the same time, you can just keep right on going and it doesn't really bother you that much. So it's it's a, more of a nuisance than a real big problem. So let's go back to pro because we want to see what the final rating is on a pro, which will be the exact same thing, harder task. However, the, um, you know, the train stations will stay the same price, I believe. So here we go. Let's give it a try and see what kind of tasks we get. We'll stick with the Trickster one, my favorite two for comparison's sake. Okay. So let's see what kind of tasks we get. All right. Passengers, that, that will not be that hard. Produce meat, so we're going to have to buy meat industry. No problem there. Uh, three, we have to grow three cities. Pretty good. It's fairly big rail, not too bad. Rural stations is no problem. Own some businesses. Okay, so this one's going to be about buying businesses, expanding out to 14 cities. Express between Kansas City and Louisville, so we'll have to make a direct line there and have a express connection. Make Omaha the biggest city, which is easy because that's our city. And 800, wow, 800,000 people. That's a lot of people. If we think of it as, um, let's see, 800,000. I'm counting the cities. There's about 20 cities in here, so eh, that's not that big. We just have to expand a lot. Okay, so, so this one is not that hard. Uh, got some challenges, but it's not awful. All right, so, oh, wait a minute. Omaha, the biggest city. That's up here. Sorry, this is our home. We're down in Kansas City. So we'll make Omaha the biggest city. Is that right? Yeah. In fact, we can work on that early and get that out of the way. All right. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I do this to you all the time. Okay, passengers, me. Okay, no problem. So the first thing we want to do, really, is buy a meat industry. <clears throat> and the most natural one actually to buy would either be Kansas City or Omaha. And we're going to grow Omaha, so why don't we, it's nice to have control, so why don't we just right off the bat, while this thing is cheap, really cheap, let's see if we can't buy this one. Ah, Doc's going to bid us up, that's okay. Okay. 
Roger's going to bid us up. That's okay. It's still a reasonable price. Anything under about 400 is going to be okay. Doc bid it up. All right, we'll let them have it. All right. Uh, they're going to make okay. So Doc won't be a problem. Let, let me th let's see what we can do here. I wouldn't mind having that brewery right there, but if I don't get it, I won't cry the blues. Let's try one more. Okay, there's Roger. So we've got Doc and Roger out of the way, I think. Let's go to Columbia and try to own this meat industry. So they're up to 450000 for that beer industry. So now we've just started a bid on this meat industry. Now we've got one more competitor who may want to jump in here on us. Let's see. Yeah, right, we'll bid it up again. Okay, Doc, you're going to spend all your money on industries, aren't you? So we're going to stop. We're going to avoid Columbia. We have to go to Omaha. We don't have any choice. We'll probably go to uh, whoever bought that uh, beer right there. Is going to, we're going to have to help them out a little bit, but that's all right. I still want to, okay, now let's just see if we can't buy this one. They're still fighting it out over the other one. And I've spent a whole month trying to buy something. Uh, well, they won't give up. If this doesn't work, we will just simply have to, um, well, we could just buy, the, buy them. <laughs> okay, so we weren't able to buy one, but that's okay, because we'll just buy, buy the company or we'll grow a city and put one in. That, that would work too. All right, let's get started here.
sorry. Not sure what I'm thinking about there. I'm thinking ahead, actually, to uh, what to do next. All right, so at this point, just doing a rapid expansion. We're going to do Kansas City to Des Moines, Des Moines over to Omaha, Omaha up to Sioux Falls, and Sioux Falls on up to uh, Fargo, North Dakota. So let's just fast forward until we get that done. This part's a little bit boring. seem to there we already got our passengers that wasn't bad all we had to do was expand to get our passenger revenue so now we got to produce meat that's the next thing we want to do I just wonder if we could possibly buy this guy let's try oh doc jumped right on it man oh man There we go, we got our meat industry. So, good deal. Man, it, it'll work out great. It was one we were gonna connect anyway. We'll, it'll make, minimum it'll do meat in Fargo and in uh, Sioux Falls. And we'll probably, since we own it now, we'll go over here to Duluth and get a beer meat line going that way and that'll give it another customer so that our meat industry in Fargo will be feeding three cities so that'll be good it'll make good money for us But for right now, we're going to make Fargo our last stop. I think that gives us five. One, two, three. Yeah, it gives us five. That's why my favorite start is kind of five cities in my rapid expansion. So once we get a line between Fargo and Sioux Falls, then we'll go into the feeding cattle and wheat, and then we'll go into the feeding Omaha, everything we can think of kind of mode. All right, so once we finish hooking up Fargo. Now that, now that we have the meat factory in Fargo, we have, we're going to finish off Fargo. That's going to give us our five cities to start our rapid expansion. Then we'll start, well, then we'll simply put um, cattle to each of the meat industries in our five cities and wheat to each of the beer industries in our five cities. And that'll complete phase two of our rapid expansion strategy. So uh, that, that, this also is a little boring. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this section until we get ready to go into rapid, to city growth mode uh, when we go into starting up a two city cluster. Now we're just wrapping up putting that last uh, cattle business attaching it to Kansas City and we're about to head into uh, city growth mode to set up our two city clusters who falls to Omaha. Okay, 
how are we looking on our okay we got to really focus on that growth I think wheat near Duluth sure we'll take that now why would we take that because we have to own a bunch of businesses it was cheap it's right here we can feed it to Duluth we can feed it to uh, Rochester and make good money on it but right now it's just going to sit there for a minute we need to really want to get that warehouse going so here we go You can see our money starting to rack up a little better now. This is good. So this little set right in here gives you the Dragon, which I love. Cheaper um, locomotives more power and lower maintenance. It's a beautiful thing. Now I'm tempted here to fast forward again because I could trivialize this and say, well, we're just setting up another pass-through warehouse. But for those of you who are new to the channel or haven't, haven't seen how to do this or would just like to see another example, I think I'll just let it run and, and let the commentary go as I made it, as I was playing it, uh, so that you can uh, maybe pick up a couple of things about how to set up uh, the pass-through warehouse. And I will say, I didn't actually comment on this as I was playing, but um, this one I decided to go, I thought looked like most of the goods would come from the west. So uh, we're going to use the e two easternmost uh, platforms to do our pass through city to city, and then the two westmost platforms will be used for feeding goods into the warehouse. Doesn't like this curve caused by that uh, merge right there. So let's see if we can't go out. Ah, come on. We're getting there on our track. We've got to get these cities built.
Okay, now we just started. Now we got to start bringing things in. So I think we can bring... One, two, three, maybe four, five, maybe six items in there, I'm sure. <sighs> okay. You know what, we don't need to bring that one to the warehouse because that one, this is wheat. We've already got wheat in Sioux Falls. We'll just run it straight to Omaha. And we've got this empty line somewhere right there. We're actually in very good shape. I I, I keep forgetting it's only eighteen. It's only two thirds of the way through our second year, and we've got six years to do this, so we're okay. But I really want to get it done here as quickly as we can. Now the good news is, once we get this double line built, this big long one, then we can tag the logs right in on top of it, the uh, veggies right on top of it. It'll take care of three of our lines, although it's very expensive here to start with. I take that back. This is going, this will take care of most of our line. This is going straight into the city, though. We want the line to run all the way to the warehouse.
I doing here? Should have bought this first.
Now, obviously, I bought the uh, textile company. I wanted to buy this uh, cotton farm because remember we have to own X number of um, industries, but it's a little pricey, so I'm going to wait. Hold off and get something else. I don't typically run cotton to a warehouse, but it'll work just fine. And one thing I haven't been doing is managing which platform they go to up here. So I'll have to watch that. Now let's just see what we got. 88 zero. See, nobody's going to that right platform. So we could take all these lines. Well, not that one. Here we go, this one. We can take these lines and say, you guys go into the warehouse on track two. And that'll help a little bit. Okay. Now let's set up our main line to the warehouse and uh oh. Okay. We'll use our uh, Jerome um, technique here, left to left, for the first one. Freight only. The second one, freight only. Oh, I think I'm goofed this up somehow. I think I copied one. No, no, I'm good. Never mind. That's four, five. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I was doing the right thing and thought I wasn't. Three, four, five. This will make six. I think this corn, I'm just going to connect it straight into each one of them. So, Hmm. I'll take that back. Thought I was being clever with that supply tower, but it turns out I'm going to have to go over here anyway and merge in with this line.
Okay, now that error is caused by this guy right here. We have to let it run for a minute. This guy right here is too far up, I think. Oh no, I take that back. I messed up my merge. I forgot to, on this first one, you have to come over, kiss, connect, then scoot over and accept another one. And I have failed to come over. So let me clean this mess up. Guy comes down, he connects, then he crosses over. We left out that part to cross over. And this one needs to come out above him. Much better. Okay. And this is a great place to wrap up part one. We've uh, got our rapid expansion going. We've even set up our two city cluster for city growth, and we are in excellent shape. Uh, off to a really good start. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.